So what does an Indian from a tribe of nomadic farmers high in the Andes Mountains have in common with a Muslim shop owner in East Africa, an Arab oil executive in Abu Dhabi, or a street vendor in Calcutta, India, or a white middle-class American that runs a real estate nonprofit right here in Indiana? Jesus came for all of us. Marketplace skills are missionary skills. I recently returned from a trip to South America and I've now had the privilege of traveling to 44 countries on six different continents. I have no plans to go to Antarctica, FYI. There is one thing that I have learned from cross-cultural interaction of all sorts. No matter where I go, what cultures I encounter, whether they're wealthy or impoverished or democratic, socialist, communist, secular or Christian or Hindu or Muslim, one thing is true everywhere on planet Earth. Jesus came for all of us. Honestly, friends, it's why I will never stop being amazed by the gospel because there is just nothing like it. While all the world systems and religions, they outline ways for me to manage my sins or to try to fix and improve myself or fix the things that are wrong with me, only the gospel announces this. A savior has come for us. Did you hear me? Did you catch that? A savior has come for us. When we couldn't get to God, God came for us. And friends, that is just craziness. And it is so upside down and backward from all the self-salvation instincts that we carry inside of ourselves. And this good news crosses all cultures, all political systems, all socioeconomic boundaries. And it doesn't make us all the same. It makes us all alive. We can't earn or behave or buy our way in. All we can do is humble ourselves, surrender, and follow. The finished work belongs to Jesus. This gospel is good news for you and for me, for our neighbors, and to the ends of the earth. So will you join us in ensuring that everyone knows that Christ came for them too?